<laughs> okay, this is way faster. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am in Zurich right now. Can't believe I'm back here already. I was here less than two months ago and it so happened that my Schengen visa was still valid for another couple of weeks. I was in the US the past two months and I managed to find inexpensive flights to Switzerland. So I figured let's just do this. I have a Eurail pass. Uh, I really wanted to do the Glacier Express and a bunch of different things. I couldn't explore much of Switzerland last time. So I really wanted to do that. So, so happy to be back here. I'm here for the next couple of weeks, I think, uh, mostly exploring Switzerland, a little bit of Germany as well. I'm meeting a friend there and yeah, excited for this trip. So in Zurich, I'm actually staying with one of my high school friends who I'm meeting after so long. It's been really nice. My plan today was actually to explore the city and show you guys around. But it so happens that the weather today is really nice and sunny and I thought I would go check out the Rhine Falls instead. So that's like a one hour train ride away and there's a train in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to take that. Uh, my Eurail pass thankfully covers that as well. So yeah, let's go see what Rhine Falls are like. could see yourself just sitting there on my chair so i picked up some coffee for myself from the station this was for six francs for this tiny coffee uh, but yeah I've just like been sitting in the train I had a couple of work calls scheduled so I did that I feel like this is the side of my travels that I don't show but a lot of times there's like a lot of work that's happening behind the scenes and it's not really like a vacation although of course I'm having fun but constantly like vlogging thinking about what to shoot it is kind of stressful but I'm not complaining so happy to be here so I think we're gonna reach Rhine Falls the strange journey has been super beautiful by the way and I think we're gonna reach in like 15 minutes so that was a fun train ride made it to Rhine Falls forgot my sunglasses today I feel like today of all days I needed my sunglasses but anyway taking the elevator to go down to Rhine Falls. So behind me you can see the Rhine Falls and it looks so insanely beautiful. Honestly, I hadn't even seen pictures of it so I wasn't sure what to expect but this is so breathtaking. viewpoints from where you can check out these falls so I'm just going down the stairs to get a closer view uh, but in case you plan to visit here there was no entry fee or anything these are like free to check out and because the sun is out today the water looks so blue so yeah I'm really glad I decided to come here today So I'm just walking up to this bridge up ahead to see uh, what the view from there is like. But I was just reading up about uh, the Rhine Falls and apparently they're the largest waterfalls in Europe. I did not know that. That's very cool. They do look very magnificent. I fall into you. So honestly, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going. There's a trail here, so I'm kind of just following that and hiking on this. There's a lot of walking involved, but very beautiful. You can see the river here. There's a bridge in the back and the waterfalls are actually much behind me now. So I thought I'll stop here for a quick lunch break. My friend who I'm staying with, she's literally the sweetest. She packed me lunch, so I'm gonna sit and eat that right now. My view here is of the river and I'm not exactly sure where I am. Like after lunch, I'm gonna walk around and figure it out. But I think this is actually the town where the Rhine Falls are. So maybe I'll walk around this town as well after lunch. I wish I could eat like this every day, like sitting outdoors with this really nice view. This is so nice. I 
Also go boating over here. I'm not sure it's happening right now. I don't see it happening, but I read online that boating happens here as well. Also, there's this cave here from where you can sort of uh, go up close to the water, which looks shut. I tried checking it out, uh, but yeah, I'm just walking around this trail and checking out these falls from different points. get asked very often is suggestions for a good card to use while traveling internationally. When I'm traveling abroad, except for some countries that are more cash oriented, I always just use my card because that works out to be more cost effective and hassle free. I think finding the right card can really enhance your travel experience and one such card that I recently came across is the Neo Global card. They offer a zero forex markup so you end up saving money while making international transactions. You also get complimentary access to domestic airport lounges which is always a great thing to have just before you take off for a holiday. So how this works is that your Neo Global account is a savings account that comes with a Visa debit card called the Neo Global card. You can instantly load your account with INR and it's accepted in 150 plus countries and 100 plus currencies across the globe. When you're not using your card or if you hypothetically misplace it, they have an option to lock your account temporarily so your money is safe and you can unlock it anytime when you're ready to use it again. And you can do all of this on their app. Another cool feature on the app is the ATM locator. So the app actually locates ATMs near you no matter where you are in the world. So you can travel light with minimal cash, which is great. And you also get a monthly interest payout on the money in your account. So overall, I think this is a great card for anyone who's traveling internationally. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out more details about this card and sign up for it for your next trip abroad. If you have a passport, then you must definitely consider getting the Neo Global card because that's the best way to go global. But anyway, let's continue our journey in Switzerland. So done checking out Rhinefalls, honestly so worth it, so worth visiting. Uh, you can easily spend like three to four hours there, but if you're short on time, I think even like a couple of hours there is great. But okay, we shall wait for the announcement. I'm heading back uh, to the city now, so I'm going to spend a couple of hours in the city. Like I mentioned, my original plan for the day was actually to show you guys Zurich, but I'll probably do that some other day now. It's day two in Switzerland and today is my friend's birthday, the friend who I mentioned I'm staying with. So meet Jeshu. Hi. <laughs> and Ari, Jeshu's daughter. Say hi. Hi. So we are celebrating Jeshu's birthday by going on a day trip. So we're going to this place called Bourbon and we're going to be sledging there. So very excited. Uh, we took a train in the morning from Zurich to Kur and now we're on a train from Kur to Bourbon. So the whole journey is about two and a half hours long, I think. Really beautiful view outside. They never seem to plead my mind Ooh, On this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time So we're on the train that goes from Kour to St. Maurice. We're going to be getting off at Bergen, but uh, this train line is supposedly very, very scenic. The whole train lines in this region have actually been declared as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so I'm really excited for the views. 
Also, later in this trip, I'm actually going to be doing the Glacier Express from Zermatt to Saint Moritz. So very excited about that. Uh, but yeah, let me show you what the views are like. Time has gone and I grew up. I somehow made it through without losing sight. Mm. And I still wonder where you are. And if you found a way out from the dark The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. This road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time That was honestly the most scenic train ride. So insanely beautiful. And they had this whole compartment where you can uh, sort of go and pull down the windows and get a nice view. So that's what I was doing. Absolutely loved it. But anyway, got off at Burgun. Uh, this is the station we're at. And we're gonna go see if we can rent some ski shoes and stuff. And then we're gonna go sledging. Bruises, they come and they go. Try and keep up. Just walking around Bergen and oh my god, this town is so cute. Like it's got really cute buildings and it's a really like tiny quaint little town. Uh, but we're just gonna go rent our sleds and I think also get some coffee. rented some sleds and we're just walking back to the station gonna take uh, take a train from Burgund to the next stop Preda and from there we're gonna be sledging it's my first time sledging I've never done this before so I'm not even sure how this works but I'm very excited to Preda and uh, from here I think the path is like around five six kilometers long if I'm not wrong where you can sort of go sledging and I think the path sort of just ends at Burgun so if you want we can always come back and like do this again if you get this ticket you don't have to pay extra to actually go sledding uh, you just need to like rent out these things but you can do it as many times as you want so yeah it sounds really fun uh, the weather today is amazing the sun's out so I'm very excited for this Jeshu and I are matching with our literally like our gloves our jackets beanies everything matching I've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but okay I'm just figuring out how this works so we have to hold this yeah. the entire time right Jeshu is teaching me how to do this <laughs> okay we're going very slow no one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make a mistake. Okay, this is way faster. It's just what I do when I'm out so try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna die. This is so much fun. Nothing can break me, no no nothing can break me. God, that was actually so much fun. I did not imagine it would be this fast. It went pretty fast and the views were amazing. I definitely want to do this again. So I think we're going to grab a snack and then uh, do another round, like take the train to Preda and do another round. This was so much fun. Beautiful stars, I want to drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. So we're taking a quick lunch break at this really nice restaurant uh, right by the window with a really nice view. Got myself some hot chocolate and hopefully after lunch we're gonna go for another round of sledging. Yeah, this is really good. 
Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna So going for the second round of sledging so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me That was way too much fun. I think I love sledding. The second time around, I came down really fast, I think in like 20 minutes. The first time it took me much longer because I was going slow. So on my way back to Zurich now, had so much fun today. I have a lot more videos coming up from Switzerland. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, press the bell button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.